are back with our mission to clean up the shelters and you know how much we love animals here on New York Live. And now it's time to strut your mutt for a good cause. Here to tell us about it is star of NBC Superstore, Lauren Ash. Hi, Lauren. And who is that? <laughs> Hi, I'm here with my dog, Fox. I actually rescued him from a Best Friends Animal Society event uh, about five, six years ago now. I love him. And you have two pups at home, right? I do. I have Fox and I have another uh, senior Chihuahua, Peaches, who I adopted a couple of years ago. And I also have a cat. It's a full house. It's a full house. I love that you adopt older dogs. You know, usually when people adopt, everybody wants a puppy. But there's so much joy that comes with a senior dog. And it's a lot less work, right? That's the thing that people don't realize. People say to me all the time, they're like, oh, but you don't get as long with them, as long a life together. And I'm like, but for me, I like knowing that if I'm meeting a dog that's, you know, middle-aged or in the autumn of its life, that the rest of its life is going to be spent with love and a soft bed to sleep on. It, that that fills me up. And and also, the other reality is, is they're usually toilet trained. You don't have to go through the puppy phase. And you already kind of know what their personality is. Opening your mind and your hearts to an older dog can really be a beautiful thing. It definitely can. And I know there's so much gratitude coming from him to you, right? Oh, big time. Big you can time. feel that. Well, you mentioned Best Friends um, Animal Society. How can people step up to help save lives? So this year, I am the official spokesperson of the Strut Your Mutt fundraising campaign. It's going to be happening Saturday, October 24th. And this year, like a lot of things, it's going to be virtual. Yeah. So at first, I was a little bit bummed that we weren't going to have the live in-person events. But then I realized this is a really cool opportunity for people all across the world to connect yes. and have this shared journey into raising money to help save animals. So you can start your own team. You can sponsor a local rescue. But you can also join my team, Team Ashpack, where there's some fun bonus incentives <laughs> that I'm really excited about. Now, I know where people who are watching this can see some of the animals up for adoption right now as they're watching this. What is it about Best Friends that you love so much? The big thing about them that res resonates with me is that they are trying to make America go completely no kill. The idea that an animal would have to be euthanized just because of overcrowding, these beautiful, adoptable souls, that's something that really affects me. It really upsets me, that idea that there's so many animals that just deserve a shot and uh, through no fault of their own. You know, I was just talking with a girlfriend of mine and trying to get her wrap, to wrap her head around the fact that she could get really any kind of dog that she's looking for at a shelter and she doesn't have to go to a breeder or to a store to buy a dog when there's so many dogs in need. What do you say when you try to convey that message to friends or just to people in general? What I always encourage people is I ask them, if nothing else, just do a Google and see if there is a rescue organization that specifically deals with the breed that you're looking for. Because I guarantee you, you'll find one, no matter the breed. I know that you're like, okay, for sure. Honestly, give it a go. Pet Finder is another great resource. You can go on there, you can search by breed. And a lot of people do end up finding, oh wow, there was a lot yes. of adoptable rescue dogs that were kind of fitting my breed requirements than I thought there would be. I love that. I love that. That is very well said. I'm going to try that approach. Less aggressive. Yeah. Just more like, give it a try. <laughs> <Totally>. <laughs> no, why? Yeah. <laughs> so listen, um, we got to talk a little bit of Superstore because fans want to know, um, you know, what's the plan with COVID? Listen, it's a whole new world. Um, and so it's, we're, we're slowly getting into the swing. I know fans are getting impatient. I keep getting social media messages. When is it coming back? It is set to come back this fall, season six, Superstore. We're also excited that America Ferreira, who is leaving the show, is gonna be with us for the first couple of episodes of season six, which is great. Um, but we're just, we're, again, asking for patience. We're all doing our best. We're working from home. We're trying to make it happen, but there's just a lot of of protocols that need to be put in place to keep everybody safe as it should be. So well, something that you have been doing as well is giving it up for less your podcast, which I love because it's about oversharing, yeah. which is just hilarious for folks who don't know. Tell us a little bit about this podcast. Basically, it started because I do interviews like I'm doing right now and I tend to overshare. I, I tell maybe too many details and and but people kind of seem to have responded to that and they've liked the fact that uh, I'm perhaps a little bit rougher around the edges than, than the kind of polished interviews you sometimes see uh, yeah. active. So I decided to start this podcast and have people on, both friends of mine, colleagues from Superstore, and new friends to me as well, 
And people usually walk away after we finish recording saying, I didn't think I was going to share that much, but for some reason I ended up telling you things I never thought I would. <laughs> well, I want to let everybody know for more information and to register, visit strutyourmutt.org and you can join Lauren's team at bestfriends.org slash team ash pack. Lauren, thank you so much. And thanks for all that you do you. for these animals. Oh, it's my pleasure. Fox, you want to say goodbye? Bye, Fox. <laughs>